has been a deadly 24 hours in San Jose. This morning, police investigating that Cindy's 16th homicide after a killing this morning. Crown Force solo reporter Mike Pelton is live with the details. Mike. Well, Daria, authorities tell me this is one of the most violent 24-hour stretches they've ever witnessed. Homicide investigators remain here on scene. We're still awaiting the coroner to come and remove the body from this parking lot. This is a shopping complex that sits on the corner of Blossom Hill and Snell. There's a lot of businesses in the area, as you can see behind me. And then over in the back part of the parking lot, there's a jack-in-the-box. Next to the jack-in-the-box are a series of dumpsters, and it's inside or around those dumpsters that authorities say they found the body. The San Jose Police Department responded to calls around 118 this morning that a man lie injured in the parking lot. Officers arrived, found the man unconscious and say he appears to have been assaulted. Crews declared the man dead shortly after they arrived. The San Jose police, the San Jose homicide unit will take over the investigation. At this point, they do not have any suspects, nor have they released the victim's name or age pending the notification of his next of kin. And one of the difficulties they've had uh, in this instance is looking at a lot of the surveillance video. They say there is surveillance video at a lot of the neighboring businesses. Businesses. That jack in the box is open 24 hours, but the difficulty comes in, uh, Daria, is that the managers in some of these businesses are not able to play back that video. Authorities tell me that's common in instances like this. They might have to take that video back to the police station and analyze it. Once they get a look at some of that video, Daria, they'll have a better idea of what happened and hopefully a suspect description. Back to you, Daria. All right.